Hey, hey. A few weeks ago, I did a video on multi-placing with squares. And in that video, I said I wanted to do another video multi-placing rounds because I do that a little bit differently. So I thought I'd dedicate a whole video to that, to a multi-placing with squares and also show you how I multi-place a lot at a time. Like this is a 10 placer, I believe. Um, so how I place 10 drills at a time. Um, I'm going to go over the basics pretty quickly again because I also did that in the first video. But the basics for me while multi-placing, the most important things are a tray where the drills line up nicely, a pen, a bit of a thicker pen than the regular thin cheapy ones you get for free with most canvases. Uh, this one is from Sepli Bozatour, and I just got this one in yesterday, actually, and I love it. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. So I'm going to use this new one, and then this thin multi-placer tip. This one is from Diamond Art Club, and as I said, it's a 10-placer, so you can pick up 10 drills at a time. And what's in here is putty. It's my own putty which I make, <laughs> but I'm going to take this out and I thought I'd show you how to take it out. If you maybe did not know how to do that, just carefully pull it out with tweezers. Very easy. Um, this one hadn't been in for that long. <laughs> I actually just put it in an hour ago, but for this video, I thought I'd uh, refill it just to show you. So I'm going to throw this away, but I could have used it a lot longer. Then I'm getting my putty. This one is, as you can see, made by me, painting sparkles. <laughs> um, but this is a new one. It obviously doesn't have to be a new one, but this is. Um, it's a nice rectangle. And most of the time I actually want to have a really flat surface beneath it just to get also the putty to be nice and flat so now we have this here i put my pen on it straight push it down wiggle it around a bit and then pull it away like that then you have it nicely filled, but with a lot of excess. So then I just peel the excess off with my nail. You can also use your tweezers to do this, of course. Then I'm going to push it down, wiggle it around again, and take the excess off again, so that when you look at it, like this you don't really see the putty sticking out that makes it a bit harder in my opinion to multi-place nicely so now that this is nice and filled we're ready to start multi-placing so i'm going to get my canvas and show you how i do it i'm going to use this tray and we're going to multi-place in this color. I always put enough in the tray so that I don't have to refill it every few minutes. <laughs> if there is a bit of excess at the bottom over there, it doesn't matter. So now we have it filled and then I tap it with my nail to get them all, all nicely lined up and get most of the weird ones <laughs> all to go down. Um, and by the way, I forgot to show you and tell you in the last one, but I always paint on this uh, light pad. I don't always turn it on, but I find that this hard, flat surface is way easier to paint on than, for example, my table, which is, of course, also hard, but it's a bit more bumpy <laughs> because of the wood texture. So I always, always paint on 
the light pack. Well, we're going to be working on this section. As you can see over here, it's almost all the color we have in our tray. So I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and show you how I do it. So here we are up close. <laughs> I'm first going to show you how I load my pen again, as I also did last time. Um, if it's a big section like this, it obviously doesn't matter how many you pick up. You don't have to really look at what number of drills you are going to put down because you can always find a space to just place your the full length of your multi-placer. So I'm going to pick up as many drills as it will let me. I'm going to put it on a bit sideways and pick them up. As you can see, this is a 10 placer, but it actually has picked up 11. So that's nice. <laughs> then I'm going to start, for example, over here. I'm going to line up with my eyes <laughs> and the bottom one. Then I'm going to place that one down. And then I'm going to look at the top one and roll my pen towards the top one. Why this is different with squares and rounds, I find, is because rounds are usually a bit more gappy. Not really gappy, but there's a bit more space in between the drills than there usually is with square ones. Um, especially when you have good quality kits. This is also a good quality kit. Nothing against this, against this company or this kit, but um, it's just rounds. It's a bit different than squares, in my opinion. So you have to pay a bit closer attention to where your beginning tip is <laughs> as to where your ending tip is. Because if you just place them down like this, they're going to be a bit close, a bit too close, and you're going to have... For example, half a symbol left at the end. So, again, I'm going to pick the drills up on an angle. I usually don't like to have them all like the same because when you're multi-placing, you can see that sometimes, uh, just how the drills are spaced. So, I usually go one in. On the last row I did then again angle it and roll it towards the top and then you don't see that obvious multi-placing line that you would have if you were to place all these ones straight in a row I'm going to do a few more and for example here I would go back to the first one probably over here I might skip two because I also picked up one less than I could have. I'm now noticing and then I just go back and fill these ends in. Of course if you made a little mistake or they are not how you really want them you can use your multiplacer to nudge them a little bit in the right place to make it all look a bit a little bit nicer and yeah that's basically how i do it um i love multi-placing <laughs> as you may know um, it just goes so fast and you can get a lot done in a short amount of time and it's my favorite <laughs> um, as you can see over here now i'm coming up on a little place where there's only four so i'm going to pick up only four and do the exact same thing thing but when it's only four you can go boom straight on it you don't have to do that rolling motion because they will go on how i want them to so that's basically it for this video um yeah as i said a little bit different than squares not that much but I thought I'd do this video just to show you again. But then with rounds and with a full, full multi-placer. <laughs> 
let me know what your favorite way to multiplace is and what your multiplacing must haves are. Um, I would love to know if you have another idea of great multiplacing tools. I hope you like this video. Hope you give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you did. And have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.